Yeah. Women yeah. aren't oppressed. And you're so angry. But, I uh, know, but wait. Um, women get, like, falsely arrested and put in police cars and stabbed and raped. Not oppressed. very vague and vulgar, so I'm coming back with you in that level of eloquence. Not oppressed. You are phoning it for now. And you're assuming that I'm some kind of um, insurgent that gets to watch into um, yeah, a stereotype sort of tradition. So I'm not. Yeah. You are talking about me. You, 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 no, no, you, but, I, you know what? You just I said that you're a man. You've just projected all of that onto me. I haven't told you any of that. No, you're assuming that that's what I like. Yeah, because I've just listened to how you've just been speaking about about how women. I can see why my my can I speak? Can I speak? As the woman with the uterus in this conversation. What about as the child? Right, no, 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 no. I'm going to stop you right there. No, no, no. What about the man who put the seat in there? Yeah, yeah, what about. Can I talk? 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 Thank you. You're screaming. No. All I'm trying to say is. And you'll be up here. All I'm trying to say is, all I'm trying to say is, when you're saying women aren't oppressed and you're trying to tell women what to do with their body, you're saying, oh no, I'm not women. You are trying to tell women what to do with their body. I'm not telling women what to do with their body. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm showing that. And I'm not even here to talk about it. What's on the back of your back? I'm holding that because you don't have anywhere to put it. What's on the back? It's a fetus. What's that then? What's this? Make it the accurate illustration. Oh, is this big? Is this big? Is this big? Yeah, women, he says women aren't oppressed, but women, women get dragged into police cars and raped! Oh, and here we go. Yes, yeah, stereotypes. Bad things happen in the world. I am not a nasty piece of work. All these stereotypes and generalizations on men who are actually talking about things that affect men as well as women. Abortion is a serious issue. Feminists are not telling women how that it is a serious issue. Because if a woman has an abortion, it will affect her for the rest of her life. You'll miss every time to be haunted. And I know this from men who have had wives who wanted abortion and luckily relatives have come and said to the woman, I've had abortions, don't do it. And yet, and yet, if a woman is life is, is at risk from the child, then abortion should happen because her life is, is important. To be honest, mate, I have not got a clue no. what you are talking about. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well then, uh, then I'll stop. But anyway, the reason I'm doing this is because that lady confronted me and asked me questions and then they insulted me. Can you summarise quickly what your argument is? Um, I was, that woman was saying about... No, because no, no, saying, what you're here today. I'm, I'm saying this is why I'm talking to her. Yeah, but the thing is, it's my right to choose, not yours. Right? No, it's not my right to choose. That's no, not even your right to But it's also <laughs> the man as well. That's Having not a bullshit. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. He's part of it. Men and women it's right should choose. Tell us what this placard means. This, this here. Oh, this one. Oh, this is about domestic violence. It goes right. both ways. Okay. So, but that's that's obvious. We know that. Yeah. So, what's your point? Oh, that's why I'm here giving out leaflets to show people. You're welcome to have a leaflet, although I'm running out there. No, but I don't need a leaflet to tell me it's both ways. I'm just wondering what what are you fighting for? Oh, um, well, what I'm talking. Well, I'm fighting for men's rights to be acknowledged. Okay. Because a lot of, in, in society, the amount of money which is going to feminist groups, and feminists don't actually um, aren't looking after women. If you look at the grooming gangs, what did they do for those girls? They did nothing. Um, uh, but the, the shelter movement, which was started by a woman who was thrown out by the feminists, um, she said uh, that domestic violence is not a gendered problem, it's a generational problem of families that are dysfunctional and this is how they resolve issues and, and the, it's the problem is the children growing up in environments like this and some of our best people, speakers that we have in the men's rights movement are actually women. See these people stereotype me as, a, as maybe a, an ignorant man who wants to control women and suppress women. It's complete rubbish. Um, the father has been pushed out of the family by, by, by an ideology and demonised. And a lot of women that have been brought up, they've expanded the definition of the horrible, violent crime of rape to where it's actually not rape, it's just ugly behaviour. Okay. But rape is a horrible thing. But these people will say, well, I'm obviously an apologist for it. Complete rubbish. And it's so easy for people to just ab-lib and just say things to you. 
and, and, and demonize you because we've, been, we've had so many slogans for years. The amount of lies that have been told by charities that get a lot of money from public and from the um, government. Um, uh, the domestic violence industry gets about 300 million pounds a year. Half of it goes on wages. And, they, and, and the, a lot of the um, shelters are run by volunteers. Now, we need shelters for battered people, but there's almost nothing for men. And then there's the shaming, oh, well, if, if someone hits a man, he's a weakling. No, it goes both ways. It's not about size, it's about intention. When did this start, then? You talked about the father being removed from the family. Oh, this when is, did this start? Uh, well, feminism has a long history. Um, in the 60s and 70s, that was second, uh, first and second wave feminism. The funny thing is that the first and second wave feminism is now fighting the third and fourth wave feminism over the trans issue. So uh, the left eats itself. And then we've got all this talk today about the, uh, uh, the Tories being right wing. In fact, the Tories are actually quite left. They're not very conservative at all. And the good thing about conservatives, good conservatives, is if you conserve what's good, you get rid of what's not. But unfortunately, all these people that we're dealing with in our parliament tend to be very wealthy people from, with self-interest, and they're not looking after the public. This is not about me degrading women. And unfortunately, it's so easy for someone who's done a, a gender studies course to come out and demonize me and people have been hearing it, that man says, I'm a male feminist, and, and, you know, and you're the most disgusting person. And the other bloke says, give me a leaflet, I'll put it. And he says, thanks, go straight in the bin. He will not read it. And it's hard to read something that you disagree with. Yes, I can, I can admit that. We'll take a leaflet and we'll leave it there. Eh? Okay, yes, sorry. And that's it, I'm done. <laughs> It is a complex issue, and you, no, no, you're not. You're throwing, um, you're still last to me and not me and saying what you're saying, saying what you do, and this is fine. And I am not a specialist in abortion. I am not somebody who's a specialist. I'm holding this so that we don't have it blow off. I'm talking more about that, and I'm talking about other men's issues. I just see it so it doesn't blow away. I'm holding it, and the reason I don't know, because I'm, I've we've got it here, because the other bloke is part of the men's rights issue, that abortion is also a men's issue. No, the man doesn't. You know the biology. Of course, it is a man's issue because, because uh, uh, creating a child is between two people. And if the, uh, cause the woman can at any time decide to abort the child. No, it isn't your choice. No, the child's not your body. It's not a person. No. Well, I'm not telling you that it's yes, not a body. I'm saying the child is sacred. It needs to be recognised. See, but when what we're doing is we're just going through that same thing. And you're not oppressed. You are not oppressed. So, are we, you are not are oppressed. Are we safe walking down the road? I'm in safe walking down the road. Sorry. I'm in safe was walking it, was down it, the road. Was it a man who got falsely arrested by a police officer, handcuffed, put into the back of the car? That woman was murdered. That, that woman was murdered by a psychopath, yes. and it was written. It was, was recognised he was a weirdo he was a from the start. He was a police officer, and it should have been done. But something should have been done that about woman. that a long time ago. He was a murderer. And saying that because the woman on um, uh, Loose Women said, "Well, uh, associated it with all men." The thing is, it's not all men. No, we know it's not. It's a pretty good Yeah, but feminism has been doing that for a long time. Why are you and saying? No. Fem why are you saying but, feminism? Uh, you want, uh, well, we're going now. Yeah, okay, we're going, we're going now. Okay. Okay, so, so you're not even go. willing to have a conversation. I've had with the conversation, me. and it's not really a conversation. It's, it's, a conversation. it's not. Because you're just trying to force your views on me. When I'm, I'm not. Then, then here you are playing the victim card again. I'm, I'm forcing not, you. How am I I'm not forcing my views on you. You came to how's, me. How's this not forcing your views on people? It's not forcing your views. It's how's talking it about an issue that's a very complex issue. Here it is a complex issue. This is issue. not all about you. Did I say it was all about you're, me? Uh, you're behaving like it is. Now.